Hi there, this is Vivzir. In this video, I will play with the String Builder class in IntelliJ IDEA and I will also show you how to convert from string to other types and vice versa. Now the first thing I would like to demonstrate is the difference between the string and the string builder class. Notice that I have a string at the top that says hello from with a space at the end and it says s1.concat tries to add vivs to it with an exclamation mark and there is a string builder here that says hello from with a space at the end as well and it says sp.append since there is no concat method available in the string builder class and then I try to print both of them and notice the output. The string remains unmodified. In fact, when you call s1.concat, it actually returns a new string which you can store inside s2 and then you can print s2 and you will get the modified string that you guys were looking for. Click run at the top and you should be able to see s2 that says hello from webs. But the original string s1 doesn't change. But in case of a string builder, when I say sp.append, it will modify the original text. Now that you understand this little difference, let's go and explore some methods. Let's say I want to delete the character at a particular position. I can easily do that by calling delete char at let's say index 0 and then I'll print our string builder. It says elio from webs. Now if you give an index that lies outside the range of our string builder, let's run this and you should probably get an exception that says string index out of bounds exception. So let's try the other method which is called insert. The difference between append and insert is that append will always add something to the end of your text whereas insert lets you control where you want to add it. For example, you can say zero here and add a complete word that says wow. You will notice that wow gets added first followed by the text hello from webs. So this is how the insert method can be used. Same way you can also delete stuff where you need to tell exactly what you want to delete. So let's say I say 0 all the way to 5. Notice that there is the space followed by from and webs return. Now if I had root 6 here then space would be deleted as well and I can also replace stuff inside the string builder by calling this replace method here. Now it will ask me where I want to start replacing, where I want to stop replacing and what I want to replace. So I can say whoa over here and let's take a look at what happens. Click run at the top and this time you will see that there is just whoa from webs. The hello word was completely replaced by something else starting from index 0 where the character h exists to index 5 which would be the space that we see in this text. Now remember that the space is still present over here which means the index 5 was not eliminated. Now there are other methods in string builder which are quite similar to what you saw in string. Like you have the index of method, you have your substring method and so on and hence I won't be covering them. Now let's talk about converting to a string. I have a number here which is 1024. Now converting to a string is quite simple. All you have to do is use the string dot value of. Notice that you can give it a boolean, a character, a double, a float, an array, an int, a long and any data type that you want. So if I say string dot value of and pass number here, this is going to give me the text which is a string. I can just print the text and you guys can see what happens when I click run at the top. Notice that we get 1024. Using the substring on text from 0 to 1 gave me the first letter which is 1. The same way I could give it anything and it will give me the right data. For example, if I want a float number I can just pass 24.56 f over here that will take the float and give me a string. If I remove the f it becomes a double number gives me the string. If I pass a boolean I can just write true here and in fact it gives me the text containing the word. Now I have a string number that contains 1245 in double quotes and I would like to get an integer from this number. How do I do that? I use this class called integer.parseInt and I pass the number inside the parentheses and this gives me the integer number. Let's print it out and you guys can see the output down there which is going to show 1245. The same way you have double.parse double float dot parse float. In fact, you even have a boolean dot parse boolean 
that accepts a string which contains true or false inside it. Now remember very well that if I write something else here such as GHI, let's take a look at what happens when we run the code. It says false over here when we try converting that kind of a string. Now what about an integer dot parse int? I'll say integer here and inside the parse int method, I'm going to pass an invalid number. Of course, I need to assign it to a number first and inside this part here, I will say GHI, ABC, whatever you want. And if you want, you can even put a number over here and let's run this code and find out what happens. It gives you an error saying number format exception, which means when you're converting from a string to a number, you have to be careful about what that string actually contains. Hopefully you guys have understood how to convert between string and other data types. Be sure to Google all these method names as part of your Googleables work and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.